Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the DNA Design DK37 and 37B uh, upgrade kits for, well, Laser Optimus Prime and Velocitron Scourge, respectively. You can see them there in front of the packaging and one of them already complete. I'll get into that in a little bit. But I'll put those off to the side real quick because we're going to look at these boxes, which, yeah, it's the same exact box for both of them, except for one's a B and that's just a sticker. Yeah, it's just exactly the same box for both of them. You can see that's just, yeah, you can see that's just a sticker because, it's yeah identical boxes you see that you know picture of a laser optimus prime there with the new gun and the dk dk37 lazy up upgrade kits which is weird you got dk37 up there on top on the side you got you know, dk37 dk37 warnings and again the exact same box it didn't even there's not even a b on the back here because again just a sticker on the front so yeah identical and again, the instructions, identical instructions for both. It's pretty straightforward, actually. Not a whole lot to, uh, you know, get a caught up on now. So um, the kit is, of course, a bunch of these pieces. You can see those there, a whole bunch of little pieces to well, add on and replace and all that stuff. This is in different colors for each kit, thankfully. You know, it's not the same. Yeah, you can see there, that's the fully upgraded version with on Scourge. Uh, with the, you know, teal missiles and whatnot. See all that? Yeah, so uh, let's just go, go have them kind of off to the side back here for a bit. Now we're going to focus mostly on Laser Prime because, well, that's the one I didn't upgrade yet because, well, I want to make sure it all worked, how it all worked first. So, you know, two, two figures. Anyway. Upgrade kit, um, pretty straightforward. Uh, on the Optimus right here, the only thing, there's only a couple things you need. One, number one, um, number one, the fists. Um, that's really easy to do. You know, the fists are really easy. Just, you know, open up that and then just pop them. They're on ball joints, so just pop them out. Real simple. And then, of course, take the new one, and pop it in. And there you go. Done, new fist with a new articulation. You can see there, you know, this one is open, not moving. This one has a hinge for the fingers. And I believe the uh, index fingers, it's a, se a separate piece. If I can get in there. Yes, the index finger is, in fact, you can see a separate piece. Um, kind of superfluous, but I guess it's neat. The only problem, of course, is now the index finger, even though it can point, it's a, uh, well, curved, so it doesn't really point very well. It's kind of more of a come here type of thing, which is weird. Anyway, which way? Yeah. Just go ahead and pop the other one out and get that in place. And there you go. New fists. The old fists you can just, I guess, put in the tray or whatever. You don't really need them anymore, I guess, potentially. The other thing on this robot mode are back here. There are, includes a set of fillers for the back of the legs here. Pretty straightforward. There's two per leg, and what you do is you um, you pop these in. So if you want the tall end. You want to see right here. You want this part on the outside of the leg, and it pegs into this uh, right, port right there. You see, there's a peg right here, and there's a you put peg into the upper port. Like that. Pretty straightforward. Then the other piece here, this little piece, this goes in wedges into here. Make sure to wedge it in all the way. If you don't, then the sword can't uh, store properly in vehicle mode. And you'll have to start putting the sword bay here for sure because the other stuff gets in the way of being able to store the sword in the trailer. So make sure it goes in all the way. Okay, did. So yeah, that leaves the tabs open for the uh, sword and everything. And there you go. And... Uh, Same thing on the other leg, of course, just peg it into that hole. Yeah, the bigger piece goes in easier than the smaller piece, that's for sure. The bigger piece is just, just pegs right in. The smaller piece has to kind of wedge in in such a way that's a little annoying, I guess. And if you don't do it right, it doesn't quite wedge in nice. And then you have a problem of the, now the sword doesn't want to tab in properly. I'm going to test that real quick, make sure. Yep, okay. See, and sword will still tab in and everything. Like so. And you can see color matching is 
Um, not quite. You can see it's a little bit diff off, but you know, it's almost. And again, that one, that little one right here on this side does not want to go in all the way. Feels like it should go in further and it's not. But uh, okay, you can see that. But it's better than on um, Scourge, which they didn't even try. It's just gray. I don't know. It's not even the same color. I was like, if it was the same color, then yeah, sure. But they didn't even try. I don't know. Like, if it was just the same colors, I don't know why they did that, but they did that. Uh, so, uh, yeah. That's a little unfortunate. Now, that's pretty much it for this guy, specifically. Everything else is for the trailer. The trailer here. Now, um... First things first, if you want to go ahead and, uh, well, actually, there's other thing, which is, of course, the uh, the guns. I forgot about that. But, yeah, double barrel guns, kind of similar somewhat to uh, the original Laser Prime, but, you know, less than a stubby gun, more of an actual full-blown rifle. It goes in his hand, you know, just fine. Five millimeter pegs, all that stuff. Holds it just fine. So you go on that. And, of course, there's uh, two of them. I'm not going to... Time with that, but yeah. Uh, this guy, go ahead and open this up and, well, remove this bit right here and close that up, right? And you want to rotate that up and uh, move that and then pull that off, right? That's one thing. And um, actually, before we do this part, I just, just remembered, yeah. So the sword and stuff. They show a thing you can do with the sword, which is kind of neat. Yeah, of course, you can uh, do all that, right? And then. You use one of these. There's little handle things, like little bendy like that, right? And you use this. And what you can do is you take the little peg and you peg it into this bit right here, right? And that lets you peg this into the back here. Adjust it right here. Peg this into the back. Like that. And I guess you can then host, um, have the sword stored away like that, which is... Kind of neat, I guess, um, if you want to do that thing, but you'll need this as well. These serve multiple functions, the uh, little handle thing, so you can't just leave it there. Yeah, go ahead and get that out. And these pigs are kind of, these little pigs are kind of notice are kind of tight on everything. But anyway, what you do with this thing is you peg this, this peg right here into the back right here like this, right? This is one of the modes they advertise. Kind of have that underslung. And then right here in this hole, I don't know if we can get them out, these are a pain in the butt to actually get out of the tray because of the shape. There we go. One of these missile pieces, these round ones, peg that in right here like that. Kind of loose, but I can do it. And then you take the handle piece and you just feed it through the bottom of the hand and have them hold it. Like so... You can bring this back. And the thing is, this doesn't actually connect. It just implies connection. From what I've seen, it just just kind of rested against there. And that now it's now it's an underslung rocket missile launcher thing, which would be cooler if, you know, that worked better. And then on top of that, you can take the guns here. And um, these pegs right here, there's little peg holes right there. You peg these on and I guess complete the whole thing. And I've discovered because of how these guns are shaped, they don't, they can't point straight because the handle has to go into this little uh, space back here. And the problem is because of how the space is shaped and how the guns are and everything, they sit slightly crooked. And they also don't peg in super well. They they unpeg really easily. This, yeah, see, it doesn't take much. And that's another kind of, this is kind of, a, honestly, this, this whole mode right here, kind of a bust, I feel. It's just between the... Uh, the guns don't sit on well or straight, and this doesn't even tab it, peg in, or anything. Eh. Not really a fan of this part. So that's unfortunate. Now, um, yeah. One last thing you do, of course, is we'll pop these guns off, and then you just, this, you can just go ahead and uh, unpeg this a little bit, and this, just to get clear the smoke section, then you just bring it up and uh, peg it like this instead, right? Bring it up over the head and make sure it's all adjusted like that, right? Have that like that. Go ahead and leave that handle in there because you'll need it anyways. Now, 
This requires parts forming. I'm not really a fan. Not really a fan of this. So what you gotta do here is uh, pop these off and make sure to do it right way because there's little divots inside. So make sure to pop them off that way. And this you can put off to the side because apparently you don't need it. Now these things, what you wanna do is the wheels go up, right? You want the wheels on the upper side and you want these pieces, right? And to make sure, I'm going to go ahead and unfold this because uh, it's hard to tell at a glance which way it's supposed to go. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, right there. Like that. So this piece, you want to peg this into this most forward peg, right? Just peg it in like that. And then this can go ahead and open that up, open that up and refold this all in. And now you got, well, missile launchers. And the back here, what you want to do, you want to slide this piece over like this. You want to slide it over like that and then bring it down like this. And then this piece right here, I'm gonna go ahead and there's a tab here and this hole right here and there's a slot here and this. So this will go in that slot and this right here will go over the smokestack. And it might not also actually have noticed that sometimes it doesn't quite line up properly. It's kind of weird about that. Yeah, you want it like that. And then this part, you can peg into any one of these. It kind of shows it doesn't really matter, just peg into one of them. And I uh, just, I prefer to peg into this middle one right here, personally, just from looks. Yeah, and now he's, you know, wielding that, like so. And do the same thing on this side. Peg this in, like that, and go ahead and open that up. Open that up and then close that up right there and kind of makes a faux missile thingy. Take this part and once again, make sure to slide it over. And it's going to be this. I noticed these are kind of tight and they, I noticed these do bend a little, which worries me because like that seems like this should have been sized better. And then go ahead and tab that on and over the smokestack and everything. And then bring this forward and get the other little handle piece and feed it through his hand and peg it in. And uh, oop, that just came off at the back. That's one thing is these tabs aren't the most secure in my uh, experience. That's unfortunate. So it's unfortunate. Yeah, the tabs aren't super great at actually holding it on to the figure. But uh, yeah, now you have that and then take this you can tab this there's little slots right there you see that right there and that goes into a tab underneath on the missile bits which likely this will come undone because this isn't really tabbing or slotting or anything up on that unfortunately it just kind of rests in place so it's kind of a not great design there either and there you go that's the official completed look for the uh, full-blown battle tanker mode thing. Um, it looks overall pretty good, I guess. The only My biggest issues are, yeah, again, these don't tab in super securely back here. Um, let's see. These are just kind of hollow. They're just kind of implied missiles, which is kind of an interesting choice, to say the least. And, yeah, it, it just kind of... Yeah, that's my biggest issue with these modes. And then also this. This just officially just kind of chills out without, you know, not doing nothing. Um, you can, though, well, use that old peg that this was designed for and just kind of have it chilling out like that. That's fine. Um, and if you want to store everything, you still can. Um, the only thing would be the uh, extra fists because, yeah, it also comes with the second one of these. And you can uh, just peg this on the back right here because that's where it's supposed to go in vehicle mode anyway, which I'll show off in a little bit. Um is that 
And the extra gun, this one, I just kind of peg right here because, well, where else are you going to put it? And uh, these can still store in this typical, you know, the usual spots where they would try store in the way anyway in the trailer. So, yeah, just get those in there and... Get those in there and this in there. Thing is, it's easier to do if you did this beforehand. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, that's the. Whoop. Yeah, see, that just came off really easily. That's what's really annoying. It's like this is very much a uh, cool idea, not quite executed very well, in my opinion. There you go. And yeah, this one just came off. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, just they're not super secure, and also doesn't seem to quite line up for the tabs and the and the holes for the uh, smokestacks and bah. And that just came out because, I don't know, just because, why not? Just make it more difficult for me. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's the full, uh, I guess, battle tanker mode thing, if you want to call it that, because, you know, make toys is thing. Yeah, so speaking of, that real quick. Yeah, here's, here's the make toys battle tanker thing. You can see, yeah, um... Make toys battle tanker is a little more involved, but it's also smaller. Kind of off center. You can see. Yeah. And also the joints on mine are loose enough they doesn't stand very easily with all this stuff on. You can see kind of the similar idea. Some changes made, but yeah. This one doesn't parts form though, that's the thing. So uh there's that. Now, uh I'm going to actually move over to um, Scourge for a bit, just to, so he can well, do something, I guess. But uh, there is also stuff for the base mode, which there's not really a whole lot. I don't really care about it that much, but i you know, got to show it anyway. So yeah, go ahead and take all this stuff off. Let's go ahead and take it all off, you know, get all this stuff off. Just get that all off. Get those out of his hands. So on and so forth. All right, put that figure out side. Now, yeah, yeah, you have to parts form pretty much every single time you want to do stuff. So that's a fun time. Anyway, yeah, I get this thing off. And yeah, get these out of the way. And um, get the guns untabbed from here. And yeah, get, get these things off too. Which, yeah, could pop those off. Get those out of the way for now. And reattach, reassemble uh, this stuff. Go ahead and yeah, reassemble these. And go ahead and reassemble this bit. Because, yeah, you got to do the base mode, right? What they want you to do is, yeah, turn around this way. And then this, I guess, sit like this instead. Right, although it popped out the peg. Just, yeah, make it make them sit like. Yeah, make it sit like this instead. Right. Make it sit like that. Go ahead and take these pieces and pop them in like that. Like right there, and this one. There, and then yeah, the handles. You can see the handles here. You want to go ahead and they kind of they clip in weird. You want to make sure to also do it right. So yeah, there's a thing right here. They clip in right over this little spot right there. That's what these slots are for. They clip in like that, like more or less like that. Just kind of yeah, angle it like that. And same thing on this side, just clip that on and 
sure also you got it clipped in the right spot. Yeah, clip that on and rotate that around like that. The guns here can peg in. Like so. And what they do want to do with the tower, they want you to have the tower like this with the original gun on top, I guess. I peg it like this. Then bring this down, and then you, they want you to peg these in, like so. Kind of like that, I guess. And then peg in like this, right here. That. That's what they want. And the bottom of the sword and sword and axe can't really store with all this stuff in the way very easily. And then they want you, yeah, you know, go ahead and... uh use these essentially as, you know, turret handles. And there you go. Right? Right. There you go. That's what they want. Which is kind of neat, I guess. Makes the, the base mode a little more filled out. A little bit more. Not a whole lot more, but a little bit more. So, uh, yeah. Now, there's also some stuff for the vehicle mode. Um, transformation is pretty much the same for the uh, main robot. The only thing is making sure that, you know, if hands are folded in and, yeah, do that. Just make sure the hands fold in like that. But otherwise, it's identical. So I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and I'll cut to that. So, yep. Truck mode. Yeah, that. So, um, this stuff. So, a lot of it will wind up, well, actually, not too far from where they are now. Just get the, you got to get these guns off, right? And the little, these missile, the rounder missiles, you got to get those off. And that can be a bit of a pain because they peg in here real good. At least on this one. Yeah, get those out of the... There. Yeah, and then go ahead and get these rotated back to where they were and probably we'll have to unpeg them. Yeah. And yeah, fold that up and collapse that down. Like so. Just get that folded up and collapsed. Fold that up and collapse that. Now, let's see. This part's going to be a little weird. They want you to kind of do this in a weird way and make sure to get this all rotated around and set like that and get these get the handles out right there they don't go there anymore <laughs> you don't want them there go and yeah we'll rotate around here but yeah right here what you want to do is take this longer handle and you want it to you know you want to bring this back down you want to take this longer handle peg it in right here like this that pick it in as much as you can and then bring this and flatten this against there like that that's pretty much right your best bet there and then right here go ahead and same thing on this one just peg that in and flatten it against there like that these are a little weird you want to go ahead and uh these you want to actually have rotated like this untap un uh clamp them and reorient them like this Right, and then bring this in like that. So it looks like that. Same thing over here. Reorient it. So yeah, re-clip it over this and then rotate it like that. Get it all squared away. And then go ahead and yeah, you can actually uh, still store the axe in here. Or, yeah, the axe in here on one side or the other. Might be a bit of a, yeah, kind of a bit of a more tighter squeeze, but you can still do it. And then you can go ahead and yeah, just close start closing the stuff up. And this stuff and yeah, this that stuff extra stuff in here makes this a little more difficult to close up fully now. It can be done, just a little more difficult. And then yeah, just close close, close it up like normal. And these missile pieces right here can just pop in on the back. Just right there, so right there. And then these guns, um, they tell you to store them basically facing backwards like this by pegging them in right there. And uh yeah, that's pretty much your vehicle mode stuff. Uh, not too bad storage-wise. 
got to bring that up too. Something in the way. Oh, there we go. Yeah, not too bad storage wise, I guess. That's tighter fit, you can see it's a uh, really not wanting to stay actually stay closed, but it does work somewhat. I'm a little worried, maybe it's possibly about longevity with uh, you know, plastic, but there you go. It stores pretty well. Swords door still stores underneath the uh, truck. Everything's great there. So, this kit. Um, my biggest problem with this kit is just simply the parts forming part. Uh, you have to separate stuff, and officially, you don't even put all of it back. You can sort pretty much literally everything on the robot when you got the the I guess the battle mode, but it's just why the parts forming like it would have rather they just repl outright replace the back end with the new kit thing if that was the case i mean they were willing to replace the uh, fists um the fillers are i mean if that bothers you those hollow spots bother you then they're nice but to me that's not a really big deal the uh the, the like undersung rocket launcher thing is just bad the base is fine if you're into the bait and want to display in the base mode but for me that's not really a big deal so it's like yeah the parts forming i don't the missile things at the ends don't really tab in super together, at least as far as I can tell. I, I'm not sure if I'm missing something, but it feels like that that's it. And they don't really, they're super hollow. And oh, they, they're like the whole thing is like, they're like not even trying, I guess. There's another like 3D printed one who just pegs in and everything's good there. And it replaces the back end. Uh, so yeah, it's, I don't know. It's like one of the modes they advertise is actually that good. Um, the hands, the new hands are kind of nice, I guess, but like, whatever. They're they feel superfluous. They're like they don't really accomplish much that you can't already do with the normal hands. So like, it's just posability for the sake of posability doesn't really accomplish much. Particularly with the hands are you know all the fingers are curled anyway. So meh. I don't know. Um, it just feels mediocre in many ways. It's, yeah, it just the parts form particularly really rankles me. Particularly, it's not parts form where you know it's like you're not even supposed to reattach the back end of the trailer. It's just supposed to be left off to the side. Like, oh, well, that's just an extra part now. I don't know. Just to me, it feels like a little, eh. and a lot, and you know, just a lot of the stuff feels like you had plenty of t opportunity to adjust this. So it works better. And it just, and some of it's like, I'm seeing the plastic on the new parts. Like they, it bends when it, you attach it. And it's like, mm, don't like that either. So like, I don't know for $35, it's kind of a, it's, not much of an upgrade. And also the other thing is if you're not into the whole battle tanker thing, this is completely pointless. So, um, eh, I kind of had high hopes for this cause I really like the battle tanker thing, but it, it, the way it does it is kind of sloppy. It's very sloppy. He feels like, I don't know. This is like my third DNA kit. And now I, I, I swear like two out of the three so far have been, uh, iffy <laughs> to say the least. So I'm not I'm not really really a fan of DNA right now. I don't know. It just feels sloppy and um, it really could have been done better overall and uh, should have been done better overall. So, yeah, I can't really recommend buying, especially for thirty five dollars. But if you really want a new version of the Make Toys Battle Tanker, well then I guess this is your one of your bets. Although there's a forty dollar three like I said forty dollar three D printed one that uh does it a little bit differently and doesn't parts form. So that might be another option if you're looking into this. So yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, and check out my Twitter, my Nemesis Prime 1, and check out my coffee, my Patreon. And I shall see you next time with another video review.